Welcome back, folks. So we are talking about the Sombrero Festival, and it, this happens during Charo Day. So joining us on the show today is Charlie Abrego. He is the Vice President of Media. And we have Connie Hensley. She is this year's 2018 President. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for having us. So we've been talking about, we've just been saying the word excited, excited <laughs> lately. So tell me a little bit about this year's event. Yeah, so we're very excited to bring, of course, Sombrero Festival back. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I know everybody gets confused because, yes, I'm also with the zoo, but <laughs> I'm also with Sombrero Festival. Of course, it's a big festival in Brownsville. Mm -hmm. And um, we have so much going on. And um, again, we have this um, annual festival during Charo Days. Mm -hmm. And um, so people get kind of confused when it's going. But Charo Days festivities start technically on the 18th okay. of February. And then it'll continue all the way to the 24th is when we're uh, our last day of the festival. Wow. Exactly. So we're three pretty much, we, we're pretty much a big family. So we have Sombrero Festival, Mr. Amigo, and Charo Days uh, that happen during the same days. Mm -hmm. But we're just a complement of each other. And uh, all with uh, the same purpose of promoting tourism and enhancing the community and bringing the community together Definitely. during those uh, three-day events, yes. Wow, so tell us a little bit about Sombrero Festival. What can we expect? What are some big surprises this year? Anything you guys can share? <laughs> Absolutely, so Sombrero Fest has been around already in our, we're in our 32nd year. Mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, this year, some of our closing uh, artists that are coming in into the main stage are uh, like on Thursday we have Sonora Dinamita we wow. also have a uh, Grupo Pesado mm -hmm. and on Friday we have a Poder del Norte yeah. uh, Duelo and on Saturday we have Little Joe and Ramon Ayala to close our Saturday event uh, besides a lot of other activities that we have during the day and Charlie can fill us in a little bit about <laughs> <laughs> all the events that are happening because it's first for the whole family, of right. course. And a really important thing is that each three hours of the festival, ev for every day, it's free admission for kids wow. 12 and under. So it's a great thing. And, and we're at a really great price point at $10 mm -hmm. um, each day. Um, and so it's a really good, uh, we want to do this event for the community. We want it affordable for everybody to go in. That's why we do offer the three uh, the first three hours of every day it's going to be free admission for the kids and, and the also free, one of the rides. fun things it's it's the we get the free rides and for the and we have a little like a carnival within mm -hmm. the park and then the kids get to enjoy that as well so it's it, if you know if, it, if it's if the price is what you're afraid of with some of the event you don't have to worry about that at sombrero festival because we try to accommodate for every single person oh, fun. and during the three events so <laughs> uh so it's the 22nd 23rd and 24th mm -hmm. thursday friday saturday uh, thursday friday saturday um, we have so many activities going on throughout the day. It's not just the concert um, going on um, in the evening. So I was getting confused. It's the uh, <laughs> on Thursday we open at one o'clock. Okay. Uh, Friday we open at eleven, 11 and mm -hmm. uh, Saturday we uh, we open at seven. Yes. So it's it's uh, get those times and and I know not the rest of the valley is not off, but Brownsville mm -hmm. uh, BASD <laughs> actually has um, half day. I think Thursday and off on Friday. Well, yeah, because they want yeah. them to come out exactly. and enjoy the time, enjoy their days. Yeah, out it makes there. it more affordable for the families to yeah. bring in their children. Uh, those three hours are free, mm -hmm. so you do see the larger amounts of families coming in with their children, and then. Uh, like I said, the rides are also free. Mm -hmm. So it's a big fun event and we invite everybody to come on over and join us uh, for this big celebration with all kinds of activities for everyone. Games, tug of wars, even a tortilla toss contest. A tortilla toss. Yes, oh. jalapeno eating contest. Oh there is God. endless um, activities for the entire family to participate, mm -hmm. including beer contest and of course our sing-off for the children. That's one of oh, our popular items as I well. Bet. Yes. Yes. And if you're going to see one contest, mm -hmm. it has to be the jalapeno eating contest. Really? Oh, my God. <laughs> to see those people <laughs> crying, <laughs> eating those jalapenos, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. I, it's probably interesting. What, it's very interesting. All the activities are very uh, fun and, and upbeat, so um, make it out to you know, some Definitely. of the events that we have. And I know this is the largest event in Cameron County, yes, right? And so how much planning goes into this? I can imagine I'm last year when it ended, you probably were already... <laughs> Okay, we need to sign <laughs> things up. We need to start planning for next year. We need to make it bigger, better. So I can only imagine. We start somewhere yeah. around May or wow. so. We start getting together and getting the planning and what have you. And then we're busy meeting <laughs> at least twice a week, all of January and February, mm -hmm. up until the event. So yes, we do get quite busy with our events. And Definitely. two of our major attractions, of course, are our chili cook-off, which is on Friday, mm -hmm. and our bean cook-off, uh, Free Olympics, which is on Saturday. Uh, very popular because we also have entertainment going underneath mm -hmm. that big tent 
with great, great performers and singers. And so uh, we have yeah. a little bit for everybody, all kinds of music. So, yes. I mean, every time you're just saying more and more things, the tortilla <laughs> toss, the jalapeno eating contest, <laughs> it sounds like it's just a fun time. It really is. For just an exciting family event. And one thing I wanted to quickly emphasize is that we're a 100% volunteer organization. Wow. We have over 58 officers and volunteers mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. that help put on this. So without um, all of us, mm -hmm. you know, them especially, um, we wouldn't be able to bring this festival on. Definitely. That's right. And I imagine you get people from all over the valley coming down mm -hmm. to this All over the valley, Texas, and the United States. Really? Yes, ma'am. We have people coming from all over the United States. This is the one time that you will probably get to see people that you have not seen in years mm -hmm. uh, come down just for this event and they use that as an opportunity to come visit family but also to get together and see friends that they have not seen in many years so yeah it's a huge event very very wow. very very nice yes and what are you two most excited for what is your favorite part about this festival <laughs> <laughs> me <laughs> obviously seeing how happy the faces of all mm -hmm. the uh, the people that attend it's a family um, oriented organization so I guess my biggest high is seeing how everyone is enjoying it, seeing the faces of kids, the contest. That just, you know, like I said, we're all volunteers, but that is what fills us and our hearts, knowing that we're giving back to the community and that everyone is really enjoying it. That's, That's awesome. what we look forward to every year. One of my things, I hopefully I'll be asked <laughs> to be a judge for the chili cook-off again. Of course. Again. <laughs> <You're like laughs> so I'm like, oh, hopefully they'll ask me. But I think uh, enjoying the, the events under the big tent, mm -hmm. um, on we have the, the chili, the bean cook-off, and just the entertainment that goes on. It's a whole other uh, different crowd that goes under the big tent, and there's a lot more rock music in that area. So it's, it's a great uh, Separation. It's interesting walking from one side of the park to the other. It just completely changes. Really? And um, so, you know, and one night we can have two different groups um, of, of people that we reach mm -hmm. out to that and could enjoy um, all this uh, uh, activity. Perfect. Now, where can people get more information now? Do they buy the tickets right when they get to the event, or do they can they buy them online ahead of time? For the most part, um, they buy them the day of. Okay. Um, we're hoping to open up the night before. It's not confirmed yet, <laughs> but you can go onto our website at sombrerofestival.com mm -hmm. to get more information about where to purchase tickets, um, the lineup, the activities, and everything. Um, also, if Facebook's your thing, we are very active on Facebook, and you can get a lot of up-to-date information um, in real time. Perfect. This is so exciting. I'm excited. This would be my first year awesome. going, so I'm excited to go. I'm, I'm excited to, to see all of the events, yes, so you all should go and make it a point to be out there. Well, thank you so much. Thank you both so much thank for you. coming on the show. Folks, thank you so much for joining us this weekend. We hope you will join us next Sunday.